they don't know how to act and react. Those who don't study the past have no clue of what's happening in the future. Tariqahs come and at least alhamdulillah Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah through this fountain is a source of guidance towards the realities of the heavenly kingdom and what that kingdom represented by Sayyidina Sulaiman as an inheritor for the Muhammadan kingdom that they were all by just examples that they're the example of the heavenly kingdom which its real kingdom is under Sayyidina Muhammad Everything in dunya was an imitation for the arrival of Prophet the king of the heavens and everything else was just a, an example to show from its realities. We said all the Prophets of Allah showed the Muhammadan reality because their authority was not from themselves but a gift from the Muhammadan kingdom. And that kingdom opened upon this earth by the power of a ring from the presence of Prophet People who are turning and new they say, oh it's just a ring, yes but Allah doesn't have just rings, everything has to come from a sultanate, from a kingdom. And they don't know the Muhammadan haqqaiq so they turn in they think, well, what are you talking about? So you have to go through the beginning and learn. The kingdom of Allah is not Allah sitting on a throne, this is not anthropomorphism. This is the Wahhabi ideology that thinks that they want to make a form with Allah But Allah created His representation known as Muhammadun Rasulullah and that authority is an authority ancient in heavens and in paradises in the world of light. So anything that's going to come from the heavens from Allah bi-ithnillah with the permission of Allah comes from the king of the heavens. That's why the way of marifah and knowledge is they are arafeen, these are the knowers of the heavens and the, the secrets behind the curtain, most people live in front of the curtain. The way of awliya is from the knowledges behind the scenes. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So they understood that anything coming from the kingdom is coming from the king Sayyidina Muhammad and one ring opened an entire kingdom and all that it entailed of power. And when that kingdom was lost, shaitan fooled the people to think that they could have it again. The pursuit of that kingdom and that authority is the source of all negativity upon this earth. Right? This is not pious people making negativity but it's people who seek a power, seek a, a light but a light that's not from heavens. So they call themselves illuminated. You can only be illuminated by Allah So then who's giving you illumination is a false illumination. Means those whom 
move through the authorities of the heavens, tested with good character. That's why all of the tariqah has been teaching about good character. Anyone whom feels that they have a representation from the Divine but they lack good character. They spit, they yell, they scream, they curse. Everyone sees it when you watch. Say, so how is this the representation of the heavens? When all that matters for God is not the worshipness, He doesn't need any of it, it doesn't make God powerful. You can pray all day and night and it doesn't make Allah powerful. And you can all stop praying day and night and it doesn't weaken Allah's power. Allah's eminence is that He has power and He can destroy but He chooses not to out of rahmah and mercy. There's not a need of anything from us. What Allah is asking from humanity is that have good character. Be ambassadors of love and hope and exemplars of good character. The lack of good character is its own proof and dalil that is no longer connected to the heavens. So it doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't have to be citations of this verse and that verse and all of the, the complexity that people want to put onto something is if the character is lacking there's no connection. You can be the most beautiful lamp but without good character we know for a hundred percent you're not plugged in. There's a criteria to be plugged in and illuminate heavenly lights is only good character. Not knowledges of the deen, not memorizations of, of uh, jurisprudence from all religions, nothing. Only access to that ocean of power to be plugged in is good character. As a result of good character every knowledge sends more beatific lights, every worshipness and prayer sends more beatific lights. But its reality is to be plugged in. <laughs> you have a lamp and in your life you exhibited bad choices, lots of sins, misbehaving, you no longer can fit your plug into the heavenly circuit. But you've adorned yourself like a lamp, everyone look at you say, you look like a nice lamp. But they can't get their plug into the circuit so that God would illuminate them. Then they would serve a purpose for all of humanity, for illumination and lights are for what? To bring God's creation back to mercy. Why to adorn you as a religious and pious and righteous servant? Righteousness for who? Allah doesn't need it. <laughs> you don't give anything to Allah by being righteous. We don't empower Allah by being good and, and, and this righteousness. So the purpose of the lamp is to illuminate the inhabitants on earth. Because your light is not illuminating the heavens, the heavens is already made from light. God sends servants upon this earth, make yourself into Sirajan Munira is how he described Prophet a lamp giving light. Like a star illuminating. Why? Because this is the only purpose on life was to come onto this dark planet which shaitan was cast down upon here. And each time Allah sends a servant the goal of the servant is to become a lamp. Why? Because Allah wants us to love our brothers and sisters. And the greatest love for brothers and sisters 
is illuminate them. You see them in darkness and you've done nothing. You see them in difficulty and you've done nothing. The only purpose for our creation is to worship Allah The highest form of worshipness of Allah is khidmat and service, to be a servant of Allah and a servant of His creation. Because some people don't understand our talks about guidance and to be good and to be ambassadors. So make it very simple, we're sent to be a lamp. Adorn yourself like a beautiful lamp in which people look and say, this should be righteous because you have to keep the sunnah and the way. You can't say, I'm a mysterious lamp, nobody knows who I am. That's something else. But you adorn yourself with the sunnah and the criterias of, of righteousness, modesty, piety. And all your life you perform good deeds and good acts so that Allah allows your lamp to be plugged in. If plugged in, your illumination begins to illuminate your home, your heart. No doubt you plugged in, once you're plugged in you illuminate the darkness within your home. Four or five lamps in the house that are not plugged in means nothing. Can you imagine the house is dark but there's a whole bunch of lamps in there but none of them are plugged in, just trickle on and off like a country with no electricity. They do a little bit of good, flicker some light then a lot of bad and it goes all off. But if we follow the turuqs and the tariqahs and the paths of good character, what happens? We can plug in, it doesn't have to be powerful because just a little bit of light can dispel and push away an immense amount of darkness. And that's why Prophet you see people whom they have heavy amal but no character. But you can see people whom have beautific character and their amal may be weak but Allah will cover them. Because that's all that Allah wanted. When we truly realize He needs nothing from us, doesn't need a title from us. All that He asked of us is serve the creation, do good to them, do righteousness to them, illuminate them, take them from darkness and into the light. And that's in every level, darkness of depression, sadness, darkness of, of, of self-destruction. And as soon as you have good character Allah allows your electric plug to be plugged in and the fires and emanations of the Divine illuminate the heart and the lamp becomes lit. And people now benefit from that light. People come into your home to receive that light. And as you practice and practice and practice you, you can illuminate thousands of homes in your area. Some can illuminate entire continents, some can illuminate the entire earth because the capacity of this light is from heavens. There's no voltage, there's no limit on how much Allah can send power into the heart of His servant. The capacity is infinite, that's why they teach, look to the sun, what type of power Allah put in that sun yet the heart of the servant is not even comparison because Allah didn't say, I'm in the sun, I'm in the heart of my believer. Izzatullah can reside within the heart of his servant. What type of power Allah says, you can't imagine, why? Because the hadith of Qudsi we keep repeating, I can become your hearing, I can become your seeing. These are all Divinely characteristics that other religions mistook and mistaken as gods, right? Hindu culture would call everybody who illuminated a god. Is God here? Is God there? 
is God here, is God there. These are godly lights, that hadith is a godly hadith in which Allah teaches, you do mandatory but when you approach through love, I will be your hearing. This is a godly hearing, I will be your seeing, it's a godly seeing. I will be your breath, a godly breath. I will be your hand, I'll be your feet. I will be your will so that what you ask kun fayakun immediately begins to manifest. These are godly powers, these are Allah's Divinely grace and blessings. So the capacity of this lamp is unimaginable. And Allah said, you can have that lamp on this earth and this is the potential of the earth and its inhabitants. That your creation is a chosen creation. Shaitan is fearful of that. This abode that he has been thrown to, the last thing he needs is parachuting atoms coming from heaven, continuously being born onto this earth with the potential of illuminating the entire earth. His only goal is to destroy them, contaminate them and darken them, keep them to be unplugged. So Sulaimaniya is the secret of the kingdom, the reality of the Najd that's owned by Prophet is the power of the soul and the heart. Its authority on earth is that every creature will be under their command, they can hear everything, understand everything. That's why we describe then Allah just showing, look at all my saints, why you don't have like the loyalty of a dog, they're all extremely loyal. Oh, you see Allah's creations, they all submit to Allah we're the only ones whom have free will and don't submit. The birds have such immense love in their heart and small head, they fly out of ishq. Nobody told them that you're not supposed to fly, how your two little wings can carry you like that? They don't know because they just have a big heart, they don't think. And the ant that carries 20 or 30 times its weight and operates as one, no matter how many they are they operate as one. They can hear and have energy that lift items and objects and they can sense their sustenance the equivalence for us would be hundreds of miles away. They can sense where their sustenance and immediately go to get it. And we can't find our work in, in a city and we have the internet, telephone and everything. So then Allah is showing, oh, this is saint too, these creatures are saints. Why you don't achieve these realities, address them upon you. So Sayyidina Sulaiman Surat Al-Najm has an immense reality towards what's happening upon this earth. This is the kingdom of Allah and Allah to whom owns the kingdom of Allah To whom belongs this kingdom of Allah Not by name, it's not Gucci, Versace and Polo that own the kingdom. Because each religion now is just a name like a designer brand. And they say, no I own it. And so no the other one said, no you own it. And then he slaps him for saying, no I own it. <laughs> but to whom belongs the kingdom of Allah is those whom have good character. They're the only ones who can be plugged in. They're the only ones who understand that this ant has a power. Can you imagine taking an ant and killing all of them? They make a social media and they say, you know ants make fascinating homes, 
and they go for miles and this obscene person throws like melted metal into an ant hole and it goes hundreds of yards burning tens of millions of ants just to dig up and show you, look, look how the metal made a, a house of all the ants. How many millions of saints are like they killed like that? These are all saintly powers we said, that humans can't even achieve these powers. How many birds they kill on a, on a given day, how many animals they, they're cruel to on a given day? And they think they have a, they have a, a right to the kingdom of Allah and Allah says, My kingdom and only one whom can belong to my kingdom are those whom are of a good character, soft-hearted, kind nature. And they must exhibit that nature in everything they do. And those whom exhibit that nature, they understood the reality of servanthood is that I have to be a lamp and as a result as a lamp my life is to serve those and illuminate God's creatures. So then it puts you to be a life of service, not superior. You're not superior to people, you are to serve God's creatures. That makes you superior in Allah's eyes because a lamp has to be in a place to illuminate people. The lamp doesn't have an exclusivity and go on top of the mountain and sit and turn itself on. But yet all the inhabitants of the city are in darkness. Means our way of understanding the heavens and the way of understanding what Allah wants from us is a life of service. And illuminate a people regardless of who they are, where they came from, what color they are, what their background are, is that Allah has created them as He created the ants and the birds and all the creatures and all their gifts and all their powers, our life is to be a lamp and illuminate. And the only way to be plugged in is with good character. Now what happens to people whom try to be a lamp and they don't have good character and pride and arrogance enters within them thinking that they're special lamps, they're more expensive lamps and you're a cheap and poor lamp. Lamp is a lamp, that's why we go for hajj. Because Allah says, look all the shades and, and fancy jewels you put on your lamp it doesn't really make a difference for us. In the end you give light or you take light, what is it that you're doing? That's why the hajj is because you can be rich, you can be poor, it doesn't matter for Allah Come take all of the accessories off of your lamp, you have any light? If yes, you are elevated in Allah's eyes, if you have no light you are brought down by Allah's eyes. This is the reality of hajj, so when those whom are deficient in their character this is the role of shaitan now to make people to have bad character, make them to have an arrogance and pride. And as a result there's no more connection to the heavens. But he can't allow them to feel that they're not connected to the heavens, so they connect to him. That's why they have organizations called Illuminati, Illuminated. Why? Because he's telling them, I'm a generator, don't worry, if God didn't give you the power, I will give you the power. But he has no power. So they're like LEDs, <laughs> right? They're like a Las Vegas, they're like a fake show. 
their all their life the shaitan is showing them and making them think they're connected to something, making them think that they're such amazing lamps. No, they're not at all. And this is the great deceit the shaitan has put upon this earth. And they feel special and they go to special meetings and have special handshakes and special signs. Why? That you are the collective group that we can take from this special power source that all other people don't have. No, they all have access to God's power, it's free, just requires good character. They've been turned away from God's power. They don't have anything special but because of their bad characteristics, the bad allegiance, bad of what they've done and sold themselves to, they have to connect to a false power. And as a result their whole life is a deception. Now anything you see from them doesn't mean it's, it's completely, oh this star is satanic. No, shaitan is stealing it and fooling it for these people. Shaitan knows the haqqaiqs and the realities and tries to bring it for them and say, no we can empower this reality in which they cannot empower that reality. Nor do they have any authority over that because no good character. You see through their actions and deeds the characters are not correct and that is in itself is its own proof and self-evident. There's nobody has to yell and scream and shout about it, the deeds speak for themselves and show the characters. We pray that Allah Give us a deep understanding of the kingdom of Sayyidina Sulaiman Salam and those who wish to rebuild that kingdom. And Allah asked, to whom owns this kingdom of God today? Whom are the owners of this kingdom? Those whom have good character. There's no birthright to it, it's a good character. Allah created all His creations with immense power, that's why we talked about the animals. Because while the, the humans they're like orangutans now, they lost their humanity. They think they're so super and such, such great status in the Divine the Presence and only Allah come and says, look you kind of like are even lower than a dog now, you have no loyalty. You absolutely have no power like an ant, you can't even lift five pounds without getting tired. You can't find your sustenance even if it's in front of you. And there's no way you can fly, you have to have big metal machines to make you fly. So you don't have a heart like a bird, you don't have power like an ant and you have no loyalty like a, like a dog. How is it that you think you're so great and connected to the heavens? So the understanding of the Sulaimaniya kingdom and this reality that's in the hands of Sayyidina Muhammad and those whom lost it. And as a result shaitan fooling people to think that they're a part of that power. And if they can do these different acts and join these secret circles they can regain that power. They can never regain that power even if they lived a thousand lifetimes upon this earth. And all that Allah asks from humanity is have good character and everyone has equal access on the circle to the radius. Good character allows you to plug in your lamp and Allah adorns the lamps of the Divine. Allah sends the lights and beatific energies upon these lamps, the illumination and the lights from every action action and good deed they perform. The spectrum of lights that emanate from its reality are infinite and unimaginable in their capacity. We pray that Allah give us a greater understanding and the immensity of these lights, immensity of these blessings and that the kingdom of Allah and its entrance Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa Bi siri Surah al-Fatiha as alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, this is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. 
Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.